all right folks so in this video what we will do is we will see how to integrate a long-term memory with langgraph agents and we will use the newly released langmem sdk so at first like this is the documentation which is uh, from langchain about langmem so you can go through this documentation and get some idea but i will also take you through here the essential things and then we will move into the coding part and how you can integrate a lang mem long term memory with agents so langmem uh, kind of helps the agents to learn and adapt from their interactions over time right so some of the key features you can see which are like a core memory api that works with any storage system then it also has certain memory management tools uh, that agent can use to record not only record but it can also use the search tool to bring the information during the active conversations and it has like background memory manager which will automatically ex extract consolidate and updates the agent knowledge base right so then it has also a tightly coupled integration with langgraphs so that we will see in terms of code also but this is the way how you can do the installation like pip install langmain and once that is done then you can create your agent with and then you can integrate with the help of langmain as a long term memory right so with this let's get started with the coding part so you can see at first what we are doing is we are doing the langmem and langgraph installation and after that i am initializing the openai key and i am initializing a uh, chat openai model which is nothing but gpt40 mini but let's start building an agent without memory and see how the memory or the long term memory can help us to get more relevant results right so agents without memory you can see what we can do is we can create a checkpoint and using that checkpoint we can create a memory store uh, and based on that uh, memory we can integrate right so this would be a short term memory this won't be a long term memory so at first we will uh, initialize the checkpointer then the store and then we will create a react agent well we will pass the model then we will not use any such tools then we will pass the store and also the checkpointer right so once that is done then we will create a function which is get agent response so this will actually accept the agent uh, then the text on which uh, for which we want the answer and also the thread id right so if you are not familiar with thread id you should uh, go and check my langgraph playlist and there you will get the concept of what this threading is in terms of uh, langgraph agents right so then what we will do is we will uh, use this function and we will uh, pass our agent then the corresponding prompt or text so i am asking a question like hi there i am planning uh, for a two week trip for goa could you please uh, give me a detail uh, day wise travel itinerary including flight fare right so i am asking the agent to give me a travel itinerary for a two weeks uh, travel to goa right so then i am getting the corresponding response you can see it is giving me a detailed day wise response for the whole 14 days that is two weeks and that we are getting as a response when i was sending this response you have seen that along with the prompt i have also sent the thread id which is nothing but thread underscore one and based on that the response is generated right so then using the same response i am asking a question like give me an approximate cost for the same right so as we have integrated a some sort of memory which is a short term memory with the help of in memory store so the langgraph would be able to retrieve the previous context and then it be, it would be able to generate the response right so you can see a, it generated the costing for uh, different types of uh, travel uh, items like for flights for accommodations for food so it given it has given you all the details that you need to get an approximate cost for your travel right so then what i am doing here is i am using a different thread so which is nothing but thread underscore two thing a prompt right so update the itinerary with starting two days in mumbai right so with this short term memory 
the lang graph won't be able to get the relevant context from the uh, memory because uh, we are using a different thread id so it won't be able to remember whatever the previous conversation that happened with this agent so it will give you an answer but that answer is hallucinated answer and we can see it has given you a 10 days itinerary right but previously we created a 14 days itinerary and i am just asked my agent to update the first two days with a stay in the mumbai and rest of the things would be in goa right but you can see the day four is explore goa but then it goes to goa to jaipur so this agent does not remember the correct context or it does not have the long-term memory to get the relevant con previous context and then generate the answer right so this is a problem which we are trying to solve with the help of long-term memory right so we will use the lang mem as we discussed so in the lang mem typically we have different memory types so which we have like semantic memory the episodic memory and, and the procedural memory right so in case of semantic memory the purpose of that is it will bring the facts and knowledge and based on that uh, the agent would be able to give more proper answer to your question right then we have the episodic memory which will uh, go back in the memory lane then it will bring back few of the past experiences and based on that the response would be generated right then we have the procedural memory where it will uh, related to the system's behavior so it is much more related to the prompt rules or collections that is stored in your memory store and based on that the prompt would be updated and the prompt enhancement can be done with this type of memory right but in this video what we will talk about is the semantic memory where it will uh, do a semantic search and based on that it will retrieve the relevant context from the memory store and then it will give the correct context for the agent to generate the answer right so then we will use two of the tools so one of the tool is create manage memory tool which will help the agent to add delete and update the memory right so then the other tool is the create search memory tool which will fetch relevant context from the memory right so we can see uh, we are importing these two things from the lang mem then we are using the in memory store right and in the in memory store we are mentioning which embedding model we will use right so this embedding model will help us to do the semantic search uh, given the prompt and it will go to the memory store and then it will bring the relevant information from the memory store right so we are mentioning the dimensions and also we are mentioning that we will use the text embedding three small from openai and based on that the semantic search from the memory will happen right so then we initialize a namespace so this concept of namespace is very important so this is a particular space which you are creating in your uh, memory bank and using this namespace you can group together certain conversations which are happening for a particular agent we are creating a list of tools so this uh, we are naming it as memory tools so we are using this create manage memory tool where we are passing the namespace and then again we are using the create search memory tool and we are also passing the namespace right so after that we will create a check pointer and then we will initialize our create react agent right so in that we are at first mentioning what is the the model that we want to use then we will pass the memory tools as a tool for this agent then we will pass the store and also we will have a check pointer right so once that is done now the long term memory is or the semantic memory is kind of integrated with your lang graph agent and now it can like do the save in the memory then it can also if required it can bring the memory from the memory store and it can give the much richer context for the agent to generate the answer right so once that is done then we are uh, sending the same sort of question like which i did earlier like give me a uh, itinerary for goa trip for a two week trip then it's generating the answer and we can see i'm using the thread underscore one as the thread id right then what i am doing here is i am writing another prompt like wish me happy journey and please note down the details for me right so in a way we are asking our agent to write this previous itinerary which it generated uh, into the long term memory for the future use right so you can see then it generated a response like wishing you a happy journey may your trip be filled with beautiful memories relaxation and adventure and then it is giving you a message that i have noted down your detailed travel 
plans for reference right uh, then it uh, wish you that you should enjoy your trip right so then i'm asking another question with a different thread id right so which is the previous question which i asked using without the long term memory now i am asking with the help of this long term memory and see how this uh, response would be varied right so i'm asking like update the itinerary starting with two days in mumbai and show me the day wise itinerary right so then you can see it has fetched the context from the memory then it updated the first two days with with the arrival in mumbai and then uh, with the day two as mumbai sightseeing and then it continued with the previous itinerary which is related to goa right so it does not hallucinate it and it remembers that your previous itinerary was related to a 14 days plan for goa so now it has accommodated your new request and based on that it updated the travel itinerary right so at this point of time you might feel that uh, with a different thread id we have uh, access to the whole memory so this can violate a user specific uh, privacy right so what we are doing here is we will bring the concept of user id then what we'll do is we will use this user specific memory where we will increase the privacy of user specific contents right so while creating this namespace you can see i am passing the namespace name and also i am passing the user id as one of the parameter right so based on this user id very specific contents will be created and whenever the retriever will happen uh, from the memory using the semantic search then it will only bring the particular user specific memory from the long term memory right so you can see the same thing we are doing just that we have integrated this user id in the namespace and based on that the agent would be created right so after that we will create a new get agent response function so previously we had this three parameters like agent text and thread id now we have added this user id right so which will enhance the privacy and the security feature for user specific semantic search in the long term memory right so based on that it will generate the response so you can see i'm asking the same question with this additional details of thread id and also the user id right so then the response will be generated so once the response is generated then i'm asking it to save in the long term memory uh, of this content uh, then that will be saved and now i can look into the my long term memory store right so you can pass your namespace name and you so using this store dot search and with the help of namespace we can get the items and then you can loop through these items right so you can see it has created uh, two contents uh, which is related to the agent memory namespace and you can also see that user one is mentioned here right? so then what i am doing here is i am passing another prompt with a different thread and a different user id right so then i'm asking a prompt like give me a plan to learn gen ai in six months and please keep a note of this plan right so it created the uh, six months detailed plan and then it stored in the memory also right now you can go back to your uh, long-term memory store and see what are the contents that are currently available right so you can see the first two are related to the user one third one is related to the user two where a uh, six months detailed uh, generative AI learning process is noted in the long term memory. Right? So we started with like very simple explanations like where the agent without long term memory, how it looks like, then what are the issues then it has. Then we moved into the integration of a semantic memory with the agents where we uh, talked about two certain tools which are like create manage memory tool and the create search memory tool and then we saw like how we can bring the relevant information using a semantic search and based on that the context will be enhanced with the help of long term memory right so then we saw that it um, privacy related issues with user specific content so then we brought the flavor of user id and then we enhanced the long term memory with the security feature of user specific retrieval right so with this i hope you got a good understanding of how you can integrate um, long term memory with your langgraph agents with the help of langmem sdk right so with this i will end this video thank you see you in the next video